Hey, welcome to our second episode yes. of ITT Podcast. We survive. Yeah, my man. Uh, the first episode, uh, we quite of gun yeah. and we we worried, but we still receive some comments and likes and some private messages to encourage us to ask us to talk more about some some hot issues and things like that, ah. Yes, then we do appreciate the actions that you share, share. You like, you like, you comment. Yes. Oh, by the way. My name is Yu Hong. <laughs> I'm Ken. You'll be see- seeing our face every week, once lah, once every week. Then we will trigger your sensory of thought. Uh, then we keep on thinking about something. We keep on discussing about something. That will be that will be awesome. And we hope to see <laughs> more new friends. Can you stop that gesture? <laughs> I like this gesture. Join um, us and let us explore. And with let you. us. Yep. Let us. Uh, let us have more interaction with you, lah. Huh? Yes, don't, it is don't a, it's, it is a journey of discussion mm-hmm. and like sharing our thoughts. Exactly, this table is not belongs to me and Yu Hong only. Uh, we do want to bring your voice onto this table, and then we can discuss about your thought again. Yeah. Uh, disclaimer. Yes. Second episode, we need to protect ourselves. Disclaimer. <laughs> yes, because the first episode is the topic is quite harsh. Huh. I, we scared that people will be like. Yeah, why these two men uh, talk, talk talk about this thing? Uh? But again, uh, it's our personal point of view. We are not being a Freddy cat. Mm-hmm. But, but just to protect ourselves and it to is let just, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's just our personal point of view. Yes. And uh, if you disagree with us, leave your comment. Uh, if you agree with us, leave your comment as well. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the second episode, let's bring it to a very, uh, I would say a very chillax kind of topic. But I think it's highly related to you Ooh. You know why? Because we 10 years gap uh, I'm 33 And uh, I am that, 21 Yeah 12 years gap uh. Yeah eh, I just realized well, Yes you, 12 years uh. y- You are the Older dragon Yeah the older dragon So you are yeah. the younger dra- dragon yeah, uh. I'm the younger dragon Okay fine Alright Today discussions The topic that we picked today It's it, I come across with an article that uh, that is published. It's, it is a research article by World Economic Forums WEF. Oh, okay. And I did wrote. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I wrote an articles uh, in twenty twenty, and it triggered a lot of my readers' uh, attention. They started to realize that oh, this is the trend. So before I bring every everyone attention into the article, I want to ask the first question to Yu Hong first. Let yes. me bring out my phone. Hit me up. Hit me up. What do you think? Oh wow! <laughs> what do you think the skills that you need to have for a current youngsters before you go to work? You just name me three lah. Wow, that's tough. <laughs> tough, right? Okay, the skills mm. in terms of you can come. You, you can base on our profession. Let's say if we hire intern for our production houses. Okay, if so, you narrow down the scopes. Mm. I can able to kind of mm. understand. Mm. Mm, for my opinion, I think as a intern okay. in our industry. Mm-hmm. Ooh, che. Che, in our industry. <laughs> yeah, true like in our industry. Like yes, uh communication first, perspective. Like. Uh gonna be creative. Gonna be creative. Have your own opinion, gonna be creative. Okay. And try to like voice out your thoughts. Voice out your thoughts. Mm. Don't be don't be such a scary can say hey, don't want, don't don't. Yes, but the the thing is mm-hmm. When you voice out your thoughts, mm-hmm. people do also voice out your thoughts. So this leads us to a second point, which I think is mm-hmm. very important, which is you got to learn to speak and listen at the same time. Exactly. You have been highlighting some of the point that has been discussed by WEF, as in the report. Is it? Oh so God. I can assume that at least Yu Hong know that the current trends are looking for it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like... You I can know, consider can, can, can I consider myself As a blue tick Double tick la, double, double tick Double tick la. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seen but don't respond <laughs> No 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 Okay uh, Yu Hong Name some of the Very important points I just named two I just named two just now eh, What is the number three one So number three one I think The first one creativity ma. Yes, the, the second one is the Active listener la. Yes uh, And then active and learner As well la. Yes And then the third one And The third one for mm. me mm-hmm. I would like to have uh, colleagues or interns mm-hmm. who has the attitude is crave to work. All right, you are referring to the teammates that you wanted to have, right? Yes. But that is not a skill that you can bring into the company. Oh, really? Oh, so but that is like you anticipate. Yeah. Yeah, like everyone also anticipate. Ma. It, can, want- it can have, uh, I mean, for me, that's my requirement. Uh. 
Oh, that is oh. your requirement. Oh, because you're asking me what? Okay, I'm asking you what is the skills, ma? All right, fine. Responsibility? Mm, yes. Yeah. But people like to say that responsibility is a skill, but I would say that it is a must. It's not really a skill, but it's a, it's a, it's a thing that you need to bring it together with yourself whenever you go. Okay, okay let's, let's just conclude. You said one, creativity. Creativity. Second one, active learner, active listener. Active, yeah. And then third one is responsibility. Lo. Yes. Okay, this three. All right. So let's let's see what is this report all about. Okay, let me read out some. The, the, the entire podcast of uh, ITT podcast, we raise up the problems. We come out with uh, the research data. We, we go and gather the research data. And then we somehow provide our own personal point of view as a solution for you to, you know, tan kao la, to refer you know as a reference as a reference so okay. if you want to listen to me or no listen to me it's up to you lo <laughs> wow <laughs> well, that that tone is literally bring up the the lecturer tone oh sorry i bring out the heat already right okay according to the report it says that 50 percent of all employees okay will need to reskill themselves by 2025 to reskill themselves reskill what is reskill which means that if you think that your skills is sufficient for you to survive in the industry currently currently according to a report it is not sufficient so you need to upskill a bit but it doesn't say it's, uh, later we will bring you to what is the skill what are the skills the that you benchmark need to has already lift, lifted lifted not lifted has been leveraged are going to lift yeah Okay. It's increasing la. So uh, adoptions of uh, technology definitely increases Because in 2020 we have learned I mean the pandemics COVID-19 has pushed all the uh, peoples uh, All the humans uh, on this planet Earth To use electronic devices okay. For payment For transfer for whatever I mean this is quite a Electronic and internet era Exactly. Yes. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, at, according to the report, according to World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs report. So, when we said that, uh, what are the skills? Uh, it, it identify top ten skills of twenty twenty five. We are now in twenty twenty one, dear guys. Okay. Which means we have four years time to make sure that you well occupied with the skills. So we still have four years to brush us up our skills. To brush us up your skill. But the thing now, I wanted to throw second questions to these youngsters who is sitting right in front of me. See, just now you hit three things. Ma. Okay. You say three. Ma. Yep. But two, of, uh, two out of three are oh, gonna here, top ten. So if I allow you to come up with another three more, la, since that you already mm. listened to all the okay, reports. Okay. Ah. So what are the other three skills that you think you need to occupy by 2025? I think uh, learn more language. I think languages. I, I, I would say yeah, so you can communicate more. But I don't think so. I mean, you might. Uh, you cannot ensure that mm -hmm. in the future will your company expand mm -hmm. and maybe send you to collaborate. Are you referring to Emily in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a plug. <laughs> it's not a plug from Netflix. <laughs> we are not sponsored yet. We are Hopefully, not we got sponsored. Yet. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just thought of Emily Who is a US I, girl I haven't watched that Really? I haven't watched yet Okay no spoiler Okay Spoiler right. So what is next uh, Languages Yes languages And then Seriously I don't Really have anything In mind right now Really? It's like it's like It seems like Every one of us Already fully occupied Because we have been through uh, Primary school Secondary school And we go into Our major In university Yes So it seems like We are fully occupied we seems uh, like seems are fully occupied with the skills, but according to the reports, let us bring you through. Sorry, let me bring you through. Let us bring you through. Oh my, come on. Sorry, am I? Don't let me over. Okay, the first skill, the top skill. Okay, let, should we go from the top ten first, then go to the one or top? Sure, sure, sure. Bring Wait. it from the ah, slowly. Yeah. Uh. number ten is reasoning, problem solving, and ideation. Reasoning, problem solving, and ideation. Do you know what does that mean? <sighs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Reasoning means that you, I, I, from what I understand, it's like every time when your boss asks you to explain, mm. you do not know how to. It's oh. like you, are provide, you are providing a reason behind a suggestion. A lot of, I, I won't say youngster because or just now me and Yu Hong, we discuss. Uh, 
these type of problems actually happen in my generation as well. In your generation, I kind of realized that, uh, in the reasoning, right? Mm-hmm. I feel reasoning is actually what youngsters nowadays they are quite capable to do. Mm. Because mm. when when your parents ask you anything, <laughs> when your teachers ask you anything, anybody ask you anything, that then is excuses. Then you will bring up example. Okay, why are you late today? Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> excuses is the word where the reason is not strong enough. Okay. <laughs> so for instance, if you late, it's because of you got up late. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's an excuse. Okay, fine. But if there's an emergency, mm. like an accident, of course. Okay. Yes. Then it that's a reason. That's a, that's a reason. Yes, that's a reason. Yeah. So actually, from the excuses that doesn't really jadi a reason. Uh huh. So you got to somehow come out with a good excuse, lah. But you know, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. So. Re- reasoning okay. Problem solving And ideation Ideation basically Is to generate ideas lah. Mm. So is that a skill That you already occupied Kind of consists of creativity ah, yes. So thick Then Number nine Resilience Stress tolerance And flexibility mm-hmm. Flexible when it comes to work Means uh, But I think 2020 actually, For example For example But I think 2020 It pushed us to uh, To become a very Flexible worker what? Because we work from home And work from office Yes So if I'm not mistaken, twenty before twenty twenty before pandemic, oh, people thought that ah yeah we cannot work from home one. I mean office is the work that you work nah. and home is it's the a work that you rest. Uh, it's a place where you can chill. Exactly. Okay. So which mean, uh, it does. It, they they say that oh you cannot work from home because when you're at home you will sleep, but I don't think so because twenty twenty has pushed everyone to be flexible when working it comes from to home. Working from home, and ah. I assume that in twenty twenty one we will continue this trend lah, and then. At uh, least right now From the first Quarters of 2021 Yeah And I we are still that. in uh, Pandemics uh, So uh, yeah la. Okay Number 8 And number 7 I will conclude mm. it, it referring to the Technology use Monitoring Control Design and programming So I will say that If you are involved With production like us Then at least You need to have A minimal skill Like how to set up This thing Everything la. Okay Basically all the podcasts but Has just been set up By you Hong And James <laughs> We have producers sitting here. Thank you, thank so you, everybody, for supporting me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, technology. But if you ask, if let's say I'm the interviewer, oh, okay, Mister Lim, how many technology that uh, that you think that you are skillful and you know how to use? Uh, in terms of software, you mean soft and hard, lah. Soft and hard. Mm. I would say, in terms of this. Industrial line of broadcasting mm-hmm. and production, podcasting production. I would say I'm not gonna be as good as like ninety percent mm-hmm. that capable enough. But I think uh, a seventy five to eighty percent. What kind of skills? In specific, ter- in terms of like, first you gotta be on screen. <laughs> so camera work, camera work, and audio work, and audio work. And editing Editing And you need to have the talent As a bonus As a bonus As guys, a bonus That you can able to speak Okay In front of the camera So But what kind of technology Technology skill first The talent to uh, Talent uh, on, on speaking That one is a, That one is not considered technology man. Okay So do you know how to use Microsoft Word Like professionally <laughs> <coughs> Yeah Sorry Do you know how to use Excel For um, um, PowerPoint uh, <laughs> okay Don't expose me uh, Come on Okay Do you know how to fix computer? I am studying <laughs> <laughs> Not In IT <laughs> or No in Even study IT also Doesn't mean you know how to fix If you go and ask an IT guy okay. As in study IT But basically I think IT kind of covers uh, Coding to Settle some oh, like, some software engineering. Really? They don't know one ma. Oh my god. Okay, no offense, ah, but just just if you if you know that we said something wrong, comment. Offended. Offended. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> this is something the top four four that I mentioned just now. It seems like uh, very easy. Okay. Number six. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, uh, ten, nine, eight, seven. Ah, uh, number six. <laughs> Leadership and social influence. Well, I think leaderships pointing. Out the leadership this point uh, We can say mm. A person who I'm pointing out like a kid A kid mm. Grow up 
grew up mm-hmm. in school environment mm-hmm. where if he or she uh, is lante for like as a prefect, like a so it's like a training class, ground class like monitor. That, yes, it, you are starting to build your foundation firm when you're young. When you're young, then yes. you know how to lead. Yes. But if you never try to lead, you will never able to lead. Yes. Unless you give a chance to lead. Uh, because every time when we ask someone to say, hey, go and try to lead. Yeah, I say, but I oh, heard like, don't want, don't want. in current trend <coughs> for my era, mm-hmm. not your era. Okay, fine. There's a camp for like leading skills. Ah, Camp Pimpinan. Yes. Have you participated in that? No. Kelantan. When, yeah, when, he's, when, he's when the time Kelantan. I heard uh, not saying Kelantan the ha, offended the, the line <laughs> okay it's, it's basically me when the time okay I'm just pointing out it's basically me when the time I heard uh, there's a camp it's already passed it's already passed okay yes. understand that understand in my town I'm from Gurik Para which is a very small town we don't really have camp Kepipinan but yeah. All those motivation related is religious related. Okay. So yeah, well, I I learned so called my leadership from those lah because uh, they provide us platform to learn mm. Okay, never mind. Next is creativity, which we don't want to talk about that because you need to be creative in the, in nowadays industry, any industry. Come on, mm. even though selfish also, <coughs> not selfish but fish seller, fish mongers, fish monger also have to know how to sell fish online. I'm referring to a specific Singaporean comedian. If you know, you who. know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know who, who he is. Who he is? Referring. Comment down below. Okay. Then next is critical thinking and analysis. Okay, uh, great. This, this we can discuss thinking. further. A bit, even time is running, but critical thinking. How? Huh? My question is: Have you learned any critical thinking subject <clears throat> in your secondary school time? No. In Malaysia City Bus, we in, don't have. In my memory, no. No, right? Yes. Because critical thinking, basically, I, 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 story time. <laughs> story time! Again, <laughs> yes. I attended a interview. It is my oh, story. Oh, this time it's you. My story. Not your friend. No, 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 my friend. I, ent- I attended a, a interview in one of the universities to look for a full-time lecturer job. Okay. So I speak to the dean and the presidents mm. during the interview. It's a panel of interviewee. Uh, sorry, a panel of interviewer. I told them, Malaysia education system sucks. I use the words. I use the How word daring. <laughs> I said Malaysia education system sucks since primary school until secondary school. So you cannot expect students to go into diploma or degree level and expect them know how to give you a very critical kind of responses. Because since primary school and secondary school we have been spoon feed. Yeah. We that's never, Malaysia kind Malaysia. of uh, so education. Th- yeah, that's why if you say that we need to have more critical thinking and analysis skill, uh, I think it's going to be very, very difficult again by 2025. By 2025. So do you consider yourself a good critical thinker? I like to think. Good. Let's ask our producer. Do you think that you are a good critical thinker? I, yeah. Okay, that's our producer. Yes. We do have third person in this set. Uh. <laughs> we are not both alone then trying to look, look, look somewhere no, like pretend someone, there's somebody there. Who is no. sitting here, here? Yes, okay. Okay, next is complex problem solving. Complex problem solving. What is the definition on that? Means uh, you need to... <laughs> oh my god, I feel like... Okay, complex problem solving is basically if there's a problem, mm-hmm. then you know how to provide solutions to settle. You mentioned a problem. Yes. But this is more than one problem. Problems. Problems. So we might be good in problem pro- problem solving. Okay. But it doesn't mean that we are good in problems solving. But the complex problem solving that refer by WEF, it mm. says the problems that happen at the same time together gather. Mm. Ah, oh. So you have to settle problems at the same time. Means not one problem. Just your physical need to be flexible. Your mind need to be flexible too. Exactly. Oh. So all the problems are basically integrated. La. They are smart also. <laughs> <laughs> problems, integrated problems. Ah. <laughs> Even I say the word also, I feel like, do we have this? Okay, the second one is active learning and learning strategy. A round of applause to Yu Hong because he mentioned about active learning. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> guys, I wonder have you guys sending around all the <laughs> all the memes? I'm giving you a meme ideas now. Okay. Top one. Okay. Analytical thinking and innovation. According to WEF, that all the employers basically putting this on top of the list. Not about your techni- technological whatever support. It's your analytical thinking. Think- okay. So, since that it says that it's analytical thinking, do you consider yourself as a good analytical thinker? Mm, for me, in my current stage of my life, mm-hmm. I don't think I am that capable to be like analytical analytical thinker as in like 100% mm-hmm. because right now I am still kind of in a learning stages mm-hmm. so if anything that I cannot really figure it out mm-hmm. I'll kind of ask 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 some expert or maybe ask your seniors or maybe ask someone yeah. in order to consult achieve. somebody exactly okay. but now uh, you see this is related to something that we call fake news also Mm. Uh, when we have information that flows into our mobile phone, then immediately we will share. We never really have a, we never really have a skill. I'm not referring to myself. I think that I'm very good in analyzing whether this information is good I or mean, fake. Where's that confidence come from? Hey, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> but true, when we receive, there are people who receive information. Okay. On WhatsApp, on WeChat, on Facebook. Yeah. You will just forward without hesitations. So yeah, when we receive those information and without hesitate without hesitation you just forward. Mm. So that already proved that you do not know how to analyze whether it is a, at least a true or fake. So I will suggest if I have a chance now by 2025 or at least if you if you already get this uh if you understand from our podcast at least you sharpen your skill a bit because from what we can analyze based on the top 10 skills of 2025 by World Economy Forum, it already said if you do not have these skills, you might be uh, not say outdated, you might be not of the, one of the top choice if you are looking for a job in 2025. This is referring not only to uh, the younger generation because uh, means we didn't hit the expectations mm. to find a job mm. but you still have time oh, Zhu Hong yes. you are still because you are still studying yes and I am now working I'm referring to my generation where if you think that you wanted to stay in this company for forever and ever then don't upskill because you're going to stay here ma. but your company is going to ask you whether you can do this job in the future or not if you cannot they will consider to fire you. Stress, yeah. Stress, ah. Stress. So if you wanted, if you think that you can survive, oh, okay, oh, fine, I'll go and survive. Oh. But if you think that you cannot survive, live in more better way. Exactly. Upskill, do upskilling and refer yes. to this. We will attach this uh, reports link uh, on our captions. In the description box below. Exactly. So you can refer and then go and upskill yourself. One of the upskill way is to listen to our podcast. Oh my God. Watch our channel. Yes. <laughs> I did. Did L- I just say that? I, I mean, Watch our channel. Subscribe. If you aren't already. Exactly. Share. Like. Alright. Our producer said running overrun already. So uh, So we do closing. I think <laughs> uh it's let's wrap it up. Yep. So that's kind of the uh quite a knowledgeable. Oh, yeah, I I sorry the second episode we thought that it's going to be chill thing, but we just hope that the second episode we can talk about a little bit about our future but at least kind of provide you uh insight insight who you from inside think tank who yo <laughs> kind of provide you an insight of what you should be preparing and uh in the same time i can let you guys know uh what you are kind of lack of so mm. you can have the time to brush us up your skills yep it's not about you only it's about your friends as well so if you and your friends all together together go and upskill yourself or then you make yourself valuable lor. yes all right so thank you again for listening to our second episode of itt podcast thank you and i'll catch you up next time remember to subscribe like comment huh? Huh?